Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm here with Zen. Hello. And I'm here with the critically acclaimed MMORPG... No, JRPG? No, MMO... What is this? MMORPG. Yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough. MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV uh, that I've been trying to make my way through. The new, uh, the new expansion's about to come out in like a month. I'm nowhere near ready for it. Yeah, it's like um, three weeks. It is uh, four weeks. I'm doing the check because that's when the Yokai Watch event ends, and I have still ah yes, you gotta yes. bust your butt for that. I do. I need to still get access to these two because both of these are in the next expansion after Heaven's Ward, which is what I'm currently on. Uh, so today I'm gonna be just doing a video because I need to do a raid for Heaven's Ward, and I've been um, I play late at night. And it's kind of a pain in the ass trying to lay that night. I mean, they will eventually find it after like 20 minutes. So this is the one I need to do, the Dust Vigil, because I think this gives me access to like the... The Sink something? The... What is it? The Aether Sink? The thing that you need to... get to, right? Uh, I forget what it's called. Actually, I have the journal thingy right here. I can just pop it up real quick. Um, this is the current thing I'm on. For the night to come, this thingy. Oh, the ether current. Ether current. Yes, I need more of these because yes, I need to get all fly. of them. Yeah, so I can fly and I can go around and do stuff. Uh, so let's just go into the duty finder. Go here, I'll go here, and I'll just click join. Now I wait, and Zen's here for emotional support as I try and figure it out. Um, that's visually ain't too bad. It's pretty cool. It's very atmospheric. Really? Yeah, I mean, a lot of these have been pretty cool. It's it's really funny because I think we, we were talking a little bit about this on Twitter, but I think you were saying people need to stop fighting back against the part about how the beginning parts of this game are, like, things that you have to, like, slog through. <laughs> but there yeah. is really <laughs> no better definition than you just gotta stick with it, man. Because all the stuff that's yeah, been well, after has been really fun I for do me. think people over-dramatize how bad the old stuff is. Um... Yeah, I think that's fair. A lot of people act like it's like the worst thing ever made. Like it's it's not that serious, but it's not great, you know. No, no not not compared to what's to come. Um, and I'll say, as someone who's gone through it, base of Realm Reborn is pretty in a nice way. Kind of like it, you kind of go through the motions until you get to a part in the story where things kind of pop off, and then the story cools down a bit. <laughs> And then the story kind of picks up again near the end, and then you have to do a bunch of stuff to get ready for Heaven's Ward, and all the stuff that you have to get ready for Heaven's Ward is awesome. All the stuff that's like building on the intrigue about the dudes that you know. And, I, and it's weird for me to say because it's like, I actually don't know the solution to making that like process to get to the cooler stuff better. I'm trash at this, by the way. Um, really? It's like the easiest one. It is the easiest one, but I'm being trash because I'm talking. God damn it. Um, the, <laughs> I don't know the best way to make that stuff better. Because I really do think spending time with those dudes and getting to know them kind of makes the thing that happens that much better when it happens. So I don't know. It's a tough decision. I'm glad I'm not actually someone involved in the design team. Because I'd be a lot, yeah, it'd be no, a lot of like, sure. I don't know, man. Add more stuff to the Golden Saucer. That's my my thing to say here. Oh, yeah. have you done the Fall Guys event? I have not done the Fall Guys event yet. That's it, somewhere in here. It's in one it, of the It is. It is. I, I, I can find it maybe after I, I do I this one. I think it's up there to the right. Uh, up there to the right? Yeah, I, I think it's up here and then take a right. Pretty I sure. think I think you can find them by just looking for the little dudes. I think they'll take you directly Yeah, there's to a the... guy in the hoodie. Yeah, he's right there, I think. Keep going. Keep going. No, by the way. Oh, yeah. There he Him. is. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Uh, if I go to Blunderfell, I still should be able to form a party, right? Yes. This is great because this changes the menu. <laughs> Look at this. This is some pretty good stuff here. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's, it's actually a fun event. I enjoy doing it. Yeah, I I need I, I haven't wish done it wasn't yet. temporary. They should just keep it. Yeah, it seems a little bit silly. It also I've also heard it's pretty fast that you can do it compared to yokai. So it's pretty easy to kind of get stuff. Yeah, yeah. It. I mean, you you pretty much just run the the courses over and over again to get the money from it because it has like its own currency, and then you use that currency to buy the stuff. Yeah. It is a very, I really do like the kind of look of it, like the little beans here, guy. Yeah, I think you get them as a minion stuff as well. That's cool. Oh man, this is a limited gold saucer, but unfortunately I can't do it because I'm already in, in line for the duty finder. 
So we got like four, four minutes of it ready yet so far. So let me see if there's anything I can do in the meantime while I, I wait. Oh, I can do grinding for a fucking yokai watch while I'm here. May as well, while I'm waiting for this. Let's yeah, see. you can go do fades. Alright, let me go to my character, because I need to equip the yokai watch. Sorry for anyone that I get involved with if I'm still wearing the yokai watch by the time the event starts. Uh, and then I have to equip one of them. I'll just go to new Gridania, I think. This game also gives me anxiety in terms of how to pronounce things. Because I can never... Until the characters say oh, yeah, I'm just like... Oh yeah, because you already don't pronounce the greatest. <laughs> I already have troubles pronouncing pronunciating as I say that wrong, uh, words. And then this game makes it go for the full, like, uh... It gives me full anxiety. Like, I didn't even know that they were called Lullafell until way late, maybe hours into the game. I was calling them, like, the Lullafeely or something like that. The little dudes. Um... I'm very bad with it. <laughs> I will not deny it. Let me see. Where's Jumbanyan? I can just... I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten the full amount with Jumbanyan, so I can just go to... If I remember correctly, his should be in New Gridon. No, it's not. I have to go to the Central Shroud. That's fine. And make my way there. Excuse me, all the people here. I wasted my teleport, but it's fine. Uh... Yeah, it's different seeing so many people active, because usually when I play this, it's in the dead of night, because of my uh, sleep schedule. So no one's on. Um, oh yeah, so everything's just, like, quiet. Yeah, pr it's pretty quiet for the most part. Uh, oh, I have this now. I got him from the mount stuff. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, the Ufidi! Ooh. I love that guy. <laughs> There's a robot version of him, too. Really? Yeah, That's Robo Monkey. Cool. See, it's when I got the Robo Monkey is when I really truly appreciated. This is what it's all about, man. It's about <laughs> getting the giant monkey boat and flying. All right, I have to go somewhere here while I wait here. Where are you guys? I don't know who wants to catch these hands, but I will find them. There we go. Go away, monkey friend. As I go find who the fuck I have to fight in here. Leave me alone. Alright, this guy's also wondering who do I fight in here? Because <laughs> we both showed up for the same thing. <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay. I remember this guy. I fought him once. Uh, as I say, as I get, like, bombarded by, like, 50 dudes. Hey, come out. Uh, Baja Blast. I need you real quick. Because <laughs> I maybe accidentally triggered every single one of these dudes coming down Yeah, here. you ran right past, like, a horde. Yeah. Well, now I have to fight this guy, because now this guy's gonna fucking take all the glory if I let him. Okay, never mind, his juggle boat's fighting it. I hit it once, I feel a little confident in my ability to just, like, slap these dudes. Man, I remember level 9. It's so sad, I don't use any of these abilities. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy. I think I remember fighting this guy way back in the day, too. When I first started this game, like, what? <laughs> Five years ago. Because <laughs> it's taking me that long to get through Realm Reborn. It wasn't five years ago, it was maybe three years ago when I first joined Stan. There we go. I'm ready. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Um. Light Party. Is there anything different that I have to do in this kind of scenario of like Light Party stuff? I've only ever done this with like bots before. Uh, any... not really. Um, I no. mean, obviously, let the tank go first. Okay. Um, don't attack stuff that the tank isn't attacking. You got it. Um, and then when you're fighting groups of little mobs, do your AOE attack. Don't do your single target on one at a time. Oh, okay. Because it, it just it does more damage. I know it seems like it's doing less damage, but it will do more damage overall. Okay, I'll remember that because I think mine is on like the second skill. Wait, I have to say hello. Hi. I am Mexican Pizza. Hello. <laughs> it's me. Here, Mexican Pizza. Here for a limited time. Alright, here we go. <laughs> they already left without me. <laughs> they left you. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. I'll find them. 
Because I can just... There we go. Uh, so in this case, would I just fight the, the little dudes with my AoE stuff then? Where is it? There it yeah, is. Yeah, so just AoE. Uh, make. I don't, I'm not sure with Dragoon if it matters which one you hit first. Most AoEs do more damage on the primary target, so I would aim at the big guy. Just like target the, the fat boy. Gotcha. And then let it hit the rest. Um, but I actually don't know with Dragoon if that matters or not. Because right, it's enough. different for each one. Oh, so they're like actually pulling stuff and doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. So now you can just focus on him with single target stuff. But he's probably going to pull it the rest of the way. Yeah, but you can probably kill it. Oh my god. Oh no, that's the Falcon. I thought that was one of your teammates that was dead on the floor. No, I was no. like, oh no. Alright, alright, we're fine. I think. Alright, finding normal. Here. He's also pulling him away. Did we just let him pull? Okay. Again, a lot of stuff I just don't know. My name may be Mexican Pizza, but I actually don't know that much about anything. Surprise to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so once you're down to one, then you can focus on one. Well, that's single target attacks. So this one I can single target. Can I wait? Wait for it. Okay, there we go. That's why I was doing the wrong thing. Here. Smell the name of some enemy attacks. What do you mean that guy's attack name is Thump? <laughs> is it really attack name? Yeah, is thump? That, was, that dude was thumping. That's hilarious. Okay, now there's more of them still, so we go back here. Yeah, I had, uh, for the entire like uh, 50 something hours I played, I never used this attack. Almost. Yeah, never. you really only use it. I'm actually not sure if. Or what the the threshold is. Basically, the way the AOE works is there's a certain amount of enemies it has to hit for it to be considered a DPS gain over single target stuff. Single target stuff does more flat damage, like on one enemy. Uh -huh. So obviously, doing AOE hits on one enemy will not be as much damage as doing a single target hit on one enemy. But yeah. there's a certain threshold for every class where their AOE attack becomes stronger based on the number of targets that it's hitting. Um, for a lot of classes, it's two. I know for some of the tanks, it's three. Um, I don't know for Dragoon if it's if it's better on two or not. Okay, okay. Alright, so for this guy, I can just attack him. Yeah, this guy is just a boss people class, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. I'm just gonna activate these real quick and back up. Stop from there. There we go. Alright, I know this move, I'm supposed to hit him from, like, the back. The yep, hit him in the butt. Yeah. Yes. And then the other one you hit it in the side. These I can just use freely, I think. They're yep. just jumps. You wanna you wanna weave them in between your skills. Cause you see every time you use a skill, it like goes like a clock. Uh-huh. To when you can use it again. That's when you wanna use the free use ones is while the clock is running. Oh, so that okay. way you're like always doing something. I got you, I got you. That's for ultimate oh god. Am I dead? No, no. He he always does this. He hits somebody, it targets them, and then he like launches them in the air. It'll do a little bit of damage, but it's not gonna kill you. Oh, all right, all right. Oh, he doesn't knock you in the air anymore? He used to, like, launch you into the sky. Maybe he realized that would be kind of defeating the purpose of a dragon. Maybe. <laughs> like, I don't want to make him stronger. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Oh, I see what you're saying here. So there's, like, a, an in-between here, and that's when it would be best to use one of them. To jump at him. I mean, oh no, he jumped them! He literally didn't jump me. Is it because I'm a dragoon? No, Is he it... just targets one of the one of the DPS. No, I mean they went in the air. I didn't. Oh no, I mean I doubt it's that. It might be how far he runs, because you were really close to him. Ah, uh, fair. It might be the further you, that he runs, the farther he launches you. Got you. Now I've never even thought of trying to use him like that. I think I have realized like, oh hey, I could just use this now. But I've always just like slammed him. <laughs> slammed him down. Alright. I'm definitely the new guy here. Why are they back? Oh, I didn't open the treasure coffer. That's why. Uh, do I need this? 
Agreed. Uh, I agreed on everything that I got you. My can. brother was telling I me need, this. I need, I need, I need everything I can. I greed everything I can. I, just, I want the the loot. Yeah, I'm not a. Is there a reason no one picked this up? I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, yeah, I am not a naturally very greedy person, so. I, I have difficulty. I'm here for the loot, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's what I Get need to start shit. being. That's the type of shit I need to be on. Because right now... Yeah, I'm you gotta on... be in your loot goblin phase. Yeah. yeah. Unless I actually just don't want it or something, or I already have it, is maybe the best way to go. Do, 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 do. That weird zombie man. I am on the wrong menu. Okay. I really need to find a better, like, uh, location for a lot of these now that I know, like, actually there is a reason to use these. So, because I usually put this on the, the skills I usually don't use side of things. Usually what I do when I play DPS is I have, like, because you're playing a controller, I'm guessing, based on that yeah. layout. Um, I have my single target skills on my hotbar number one, and I have my AoE skills on my hotbar number two. So whenever like I'm doing enemies like this, where I know I'm gonna be just using my AOE skills, I'll just sit on hot bar number two. Oh, uh, that makes sense. And then it, when I'm in a boss, I'll switch back to hot bar one. That, that makes a lot of sense. Wow, there's a lot of dudes. In there. Yeah, stuff like this about like drawing aggro and stuff. I'm really glad I did not pick a tank, because I would be so fucking lost if they expected me to do anything like this. <laughs> It's not that hard. I, I know. Just but, go in but, and spin. But in terms of they would uh, being like a new player, I'd be like, I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, I want to say they do an okay job of teaching you. I actually don't think that's true. I think they like. They I mean, do, I haven't uh, been a new player since like 2016. But uh, is it kind of like the the same way that Master Duel in theory teaches you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> Similarly, yeah. Like, it makes you run through some some training missions that are like. If you're a tank, you know, like, um, you have your Dragoon quests with the guy, and there's like, the dragons are attacking the town, or whatever. Um, every, like, five levels, you have to go talk to him to get a new skill. Tanks ha have those, too, and usually the quests are something along the lines of, like, don't let your allies take damage. So, like, you have to pull aggro off of them, or you'll fail the quest, but, like, it's not great. Gotcha. Oh, wow, I got all Now I'm feeling a little, like, why me? Why'd I get these? This is the problem with, uh my general temperament is that I got all those I'm like I feel like someone else could have gotten it. I feel wrong Zen. it feels wrong I need to fight back these feelings truly be ultimate evil oh good one. I'm not really here to shave that blue when there was a lot of them now that I think I'm like, that's alright it's my first day is there anything specific I have to do here, or is it just kind of like hit them? Um, the little guys, I think if you let them live for too long, they'll do an attack that hits the whole raid. Oh. Um, but yeah, that, or maybe that was him, I don't remember. The little guys are annoying, basically, so it helps if you kill them, but you can also just burn him down. Gotcha. Like, it's not that intense compared to a lot of the other raids where it's like, I didn't like hit a specific thing and now No, dungeon bosses aren't like, like big bosses. Gotcha. Yeah, because the raid bosses was like, I did one thing slightly wrong and now everyone has died. Focus down on them. Whoop. Should hopefully help take some of the little dudes on them. I can do this one from way farther away than I thought. Oh, probably because I'm doing like little like demon fangs when I go out there makes a lot of sense. Oh god. I also need to be better using my jump, but I'm really bad in these kind of scenarios when the jump. When I'm fighting like a random bear out in the wild, oh yeah, I'll jump like crazy. But when I'm fighting an actual boss, it's a little bit of a different story. Something that might be seen as an actual threat that could kill me. There we go. Not that bad. Treasure coffers. Greed, greed, sure. 
I'm gonna assume that these guys have probably just randomly picked this and they are not doing it for the first time like I am. <laughs> yeah, usually they'll they'll get sorted in by like roulettes or something like that. Very right, cool. More items for me, I guess. What does the flower by their name mean? Does that mean they're like really into? Uh, they're a returner. It means they haven't they haven't played for a long time and then they came back. Ooh, okay. It's kind of like the. Uh, you haven't played our gotcha game in 30 days. Like, login <laughs> reward thing. Uh, in this, you get a flower. That's pretty funny. Okay. Because you're not 100% like a sprout. You're someone that actually has done something. Yeah, you're not like a newbie. You're... But you, you get access to the newbie, like, novice network that you can chat in and stuff as a returner. Because it's like you're... you Like, you bloom, but you're still a sprout. Oh, as opposed okay. to someone who doesn't have it on their name at all. Okay, I got you. That's pretty cool. It's a smart way of saying, hey man, <laughs> you might be considered a new player now that you're coming back. It's a nice way of putting it. Temperature rises. Alright, let's roll. So what are the other classes they're using? Like, one of them is clearly a gun dude, and the other one is a That healer. is a machinist, who's the gun dude, and then the healer is a white mage, and the tank is a paladin. Oh, okay, cool. I was looking into a lot of the other class stuff, but I don't know where to start with that, so I've just been sticking with Dragoon. Because I also feel like it'd be easier to actually advance the story. Just sticking with... Yeah, if you're trying to grind story as fast as you can, just use the class that you know. Yeah, makes sense. Because you're going to have to level back up from one for most of whatever else you pick. Yeah. It's not too if hard. If you switch to a Machinist or an Astrologian or a Dark Knight, you can start at 50. Uh, and then there's... What's the classes that start at 60? Samurai and Red Mage start at 60. Oh, okay. Maybe I can look into Red Mage. Because by yeah, that you point, can't. unfortunately, you can't cheat your way forward, so you can't like unlock it and then start at 60. <laughs> like you have to get to 60 first before you can do it. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll be sure to do that. I just so that as I'm going through Heaven's Ward, but then when I get to the next expansion, I don't actually need to go power through the story like I'm doing here. All I need is the access to like the event stuff. So I just fight those dudes. Well, until I get you'll my need access stuff. to two areas, which. I you see. get there pretty early, um, but you do have to, to get yeah. there. And then obviously unlock flights, so you can actually get to the fates. Yeah, to get them faster, I guess. But I can yeah. I can manage on mount, especially if you're playing like late at night and nobody's doing them. So it's just like me alone and occasionally some other dude will show up and be like, I'm here too. Hey, man. That's a statue. Someone worked hard on that. You can't just destroy it like that. It's uncool. Oh, yeah, the griffin fight. This is actually a fight. Back to here. Oh, wait. He's joining this. Map in the realms. So I can go here. I can do my little crit thing, too, right? Or yeah. should I just wait? Okay. Yeah, you can do it. Most people use those buffs in the first two minutes of the fight because that's when everyone's stuff is up. Oh, that makes sense. Whoop. Where'd he go? There he is. He was like trapped in a like, little bobble. can't execute at this time. Is it because of the wind stuff? Oh uh, yeah, you're stuck in the wind because you got to run out of that wind when he starts it. He tries to suck you in and yeah, now he's going to blow you up when it ends. Oh god. Alright, so pay attention to that next time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank God for like picking up on cues, right? I've learned that from also doing a bunch of those uh, Crystal Tower stuff. It's like wherever someone's going, just go where they are. Because chances are they know. Oh no. It's after the stuff in the wind again. I say after saying, like, yo, I figured it out. I did not figure it out. So. Wee. <laughs> we did not make it. <laughs> it's alright. Let's go here. Shot a rainbow, it's fine. As long as I'm not dead. That's happened to me before where the fight was won, but then I died. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then they gave me, like, a head pad, I guess, to feel better about it. I'm like, thanks, man. <laughs> appreciate really, you. Really appreciate right, now it. Go hide. Go hide behind the rock. Shit, 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 shit. Right. Oh, wait, no, that's not the one where. What's the one where he does hide behind the rock? Maybe he only does it the one time. But I'm pretty sure he does it again. This is it. Hide behind the rock. Hide behind the rock. But hide behind in the middle. So you want to avoid the tornado in the middle. Yeah. Alright, alright. There you go. So see now, see now it's sucking your friend in? Yeah. Because he's not hiding behind the rock. But you're hiding behind the rock. You can still throw your spear. Oh, oh yeah. no, you can't. He's too far away. Um, ah, he's too far away. Yeah, hit tank dragon to the other side. But no. yeah, when you hide behind the rock, the whirlwind won't suck no. you in and blow you up. Remember, I can destroy this. Y'all, you doing it again? No, it's not. Yeah! Easy, and I leveled up from that, so now I'm level 58. Yeah, it's, uh, this is way faster when you're actually doing it with people. When I did it with the NPCs, it felt like it was taking forever. Yeah, the NPCs suck. They're terrible. Yeah, they don't really do the what they were doing. Well, NPCs don't uh, use AoE skills, so they Thank always you. burn enemies down one at a time. I can come and accommodate someone, sure. Whatever, yeah. Which, in turn, makes it take forever. Now look at this treasure coffer. Uh, I'll greed that. I'll greed that. Do I need this? I'll just greed it. Just to see in case someone did want it. Oh. Wait. Thank. You. Oh. Now I leave. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was great. <laughs> Those were some oh, yeah. oh, they must have been a pre-made party. You got every commendation. Oh, really? That was awesome. Yeah, see, you got three player commendations right there. I miss my dudes now. I'm alone. <laughs> The hell you you never accommodate me for anything, Baja Blast. <laughs> it's like, hey man, don't damn it, Baja Blast. <laughs> Just be Baja Blast and Jibanya alone in a fucking cave. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here, monkey. Woo! All right, that's good for this one. That's basically what I want to do. Originally, we were gonna do a thing together, but I think we can save that for later. That was a nice, uh, that was a nice experience for sure. Maybe I was too afraid to do this always by myself and during the day, and always waited till night where everyone was asleep <laughs> was for no reason. <laughs> Maybe my social anxieties truly are just holding me back <laughs> from truly experiencing life. Who knows? Yeah, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to play an MMO as a recluse. It's true. And I've tried. It's hard. <laughs> That's probably why I'm like, man, this is really boring at the beginning. But it turns out it's because you're not supposed to be by yourself for the vast majority of it. <laughs> Here we go. But that's good for now. I think we'll be back for another one just to try and do the the Fall Guys one and see what's up with that. But I think that was a good, nice way of ending it right there. So thanks for joining me, Zen. Hopefully next Absolutely. time, as I'm going through it, we'll see if we can get you on here for one and pick up on something else. Try and do one yeah, of the other ones. Sounds like a plan to me. Yes, because I have plenty of them to do. I have like so many of them to do. I tried to do one for. Um, I had to do one for. I think it was this challenge one. I forgot. It was for no. It was for the hunt. Thank you, monkey. Uh, it was for the hunting log. <laughs> it was for these dudes. For the immortal flames. I'm like, all right. So where do I find these dudes? And then it turns out all of them, like a vast, like three of them are inside a raid <laughs> that I have to go do. <laughs> Same thing goes for... Oh yeah, they're in a, they're in dungeons, yeah. For this Relic Reborn, I have to go to do the glyph. And I accepted this having never completed the Amdir Keep, so I have to actually unlock it. 
and do it that way. <laughs> I maybe jumped the gun a little bit, and I can't actually do <laughs> those, this now. Those aren't too bad. Four-man stuff is really never that bad. Okay, that's good to hear, at least. Yeah, huh. you're, you'll be fine on four-man stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out.